Terry walked in last night and was like, what's wrong? I'm like, it's New Year's. <laughs> just, there's just this look on my face. I don't know, but I'm trusting God. You know, he's, uh, he's a good God. He's with us last year. He'll be with us this year. But I, I do love him, and I'm thankful to be in his house today. Let's stand. Let's enter in. Let's worship the Lord today. Let's sing, I will enter his gates. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his courts with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. for our church overall. Uh, God will give us uh, vision, direction this new year. Uh, it's be a good, a good prosperous year in the Lord. We need to be busy for what we're here for. Amen. 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 Yes. Uh, I remember Roxanne, uh, Lee, um, Kimberly, the little girl the two-year-old that has cancer in her eye. She started treatment. So let the Lord work in that. So that baby up. All right, remember the service this morning. Let's get our hearts and our focus on him. We're here to lift him up and to worship him. Yes. Amen. All right, let's pray together. Amen. 
Father, we just thank you once again, Lord, for this opportunity that you've given to us, this privilege to gather together here in your house. Lord, we thank you for each and every one that has made that decision to come out and to worship you here today. Lord, we just pray each and every one of these teams for you this evening. We know that you're able, Lord. We know that you're already aware of these things. We're just asking you for faith and trust in you, Lord God. We each and every one of these teams Healing, restoration, and renewal, Lord God, I pray for those who have left the church, Father, Lord, the gospel lighthouse, or grace, Father, whatever it may be, Lord, Father, bring them back, bring them back, come with them, Lord, and Father, participate in hearing the word, Father, just moving in the word, being touched by the word, being filled by the word, being renewed by the Spirit of God, and just pray for them, Lord, bring them back, Lord, Father, we ask you in all we got, Lord. Lord, we just give you glory and give you praise. Lord, fill this place with the seals of the floor, wall to wall. Father, with your Lord, just draw them as only you can, soften their hearts. Father, stand up in the past prayer of all those that are praying. Father, we stand in agreement. Agreement is the place of power. Lord, we agree in the word of God that your will be done. Father, thank you and praise you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory to your name, Lord. Let's sing. There's power in the blood. Hallelujah. Would you, would you be free from your burden of sin? There's power in the
power over everything, and I'm so very thankful. And we're going to sing Chain Breaker this morning, and I just want us to worship the Lord. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know what you're battling. I don't know. Well, some of you, maybe I do. I don't know. But I'm telling you, God's able. Yes, He's amen. able to break every chain. And what amen. better day to have those chains broken off than to start in a new year, free of all the bondage of this world. Right. Thank you, free Lord. Thank you, Lord. Free of everything that has you held and has right. you just amen. bound up so that you can't get to what God has amen. for you. Amen. I'm telling you, we serve amen. an awesome amen. God. Amen. And he truly is amen. able. Amen. There is power amen. in the blood amen. of Jesus. Amen. I still amen. believe it today. I believe it tomorrow. Amen. 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 Amen.
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You all have to pray for me this morning. I heard this song a while back, and I it touched my heart. I think it has such a message, and I thought, what a song appropriate for New Year's. But I am struggling. It's high for me to sing. I'm not going to lie. But I just wanted to listen to the words. It's called, I've been through enough. And I'm telling you, my God is real. Amen, amen. He has been with me for many, many years Thank now. He's been with me my whole life. But he has proven himself faithful. Amen. And no matter what I faced, he's always been there. And he's always been, been brought me through. Amen. And so many times, you know, we question and we doubt and we wonder why. I'm telling you, God's plan is perfect. Thank you, Jesus. And he knows, and he's able, and I love him, and I'm going to try to not work it. Oh, four, three, six, two, one. I told Greg that he just forgot to. <laughs> okay. You did. But I love this song, and I want you to listen to the words. Like I said, it, <clears throat> he's brought me through so many things. And, you, you know, trusting God gets easier the longer you serve him, I would think. But, you know, our human is so many times we fall back, and... <clears throat> And we forget where he's brought us from. Thank but I've tested him, and he's true, and he's faithful. Amen. And I love Amen. him so very much. Worship the Lord. You're, you're plugged into the wrong thing. Okay, come plug us in, huh? <laughs> what do I need? Where do you plug into? You're plugged into the video and you need to plug into the audio. I have no idea what that is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I hope you were going to try to read we're those words off this. <laughs> Morning. Amen. As you can see, we are just a down to earth church. We love the Lord, but we just go with the flow and let Him orchestrate. It's so good to have you. Oh, are you okay? Oh. Hallelujah. We didn't need that computer. Not today, Satan. <laughs> well, doing, the, doing that and figuring it out, I just want to thank God for His goodness. You know, He has brought my family through so much, and He's been so faithful. And it's only been through him and by the grace of God that we are where we are. So I just want to give him praise for it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Not the green one, Greg. <laughs> When I first started walking with the Lord, I did not really trust Him. How He longed for me to understand that I could. So through Afraid as 
as I may be until I felt his loving arms embracing me and I've been through okay guys I gotta start over because I can't hear I'm so sorry we're gonna do this all right, all right. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's when I first started walking with the Lord, I did not really trust Him. And how He longed for me to understand that I could. Yeah. 
He's come through too many times. That puts my mind at ease. Oh, and I'll stake my very life. He's gonna take care of me. Sunday school this morning about teaching the, in the home and the family the, God's word. Uh, a lot of people have a problem with that. They, they, they don't want to hear God's word or, or obey God's word. As we read there in Deuteronomy there, I forget the chapter, I know it was verse 24. Uh, keep all of these statutes. And the reason was it would be good for you all of your days. Amen. It's for our benefit. That's right. A lot of people have trouble being in church or, or getting in the Bible and following God's commandments. Oh, it's a bunch of rules. Yeah, there's a lot of rules in there, but who benefits from them? Amen. 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 Stop, stop and think about that for one minute. Well, God just wants to have control. Yes, he does. Why? Because he knows what's best for you. He wants to protect you. He loves you. He wants you to have a good life. He wants to save you from a lot of heartache and a lot of pain and uh, disappointment and all the things that life's going to throw at you. Amen. Oh, God just wants to have control. Yes, he does. Amen. And the sooner you realize that and you let him have it, the better Amen. off you're going to be. Amen. 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 I, I can, can honestly, honestly say that, that God has never, <coughs> never failed me. That's right. Yeah, there's been a lot of things that didn't go the way that I wanted. 
But in the midst of those, God has always been there. Amen. He's, he's helped me through. Tell you what, uh, life's going to happen. Right. Amen. Amen. With or without God, I sure don't want to do it without Him. Amen. 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 He helps me to be able to, to make it through. Thank you, Jesus. Well, here we are again. <laughs> Another year gone. I don't know. It's uh, I always remember hearing as a kid about time flying. The older I get, the more I, I understand that. Amen. It seems like it was just a couple of months ago. Here we were. New mm -hmm. year. Can't believe another year is so going by. What does the next year hold? Only the Lord knows. See, he's already been there. Amen. That's right. Amen. He, he knows all about it. He knows right. what's going to happen, what's yeah, headed our right. way. Huh? Or if right. we just get a hold of him and let him yes. Thank lead you, and guide us. No. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know what, what decision to make for, for my future, what next week or uh, next month or next year is going to hold. He knows. That's yes. right. He knows. Let him, let him make those decisions That's for right. us. That's right. Amen. 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 I have kind of a loaded question for you. <laughs> Anybody have any regrets in life? <laughs> yeah, we, we all do. <laughs> we all do. It's just uh, sin will do that. <clears throat> Sin will do that. How about just this past year? One year ago, we were here where we're at, and uh, no doubt many of us had plans and goals and things we wanted to do. Any regrets? No. Accomplish it all? No. I, I, I understand. <coughs> I, know, I know how that is. It's all a matter of perspective. You know, uh, Deb, she's already shared. She doesn't. She doesn't like the new year. The, you know, unknown. What's what is what is this year going to bring? That's a day. You know, uh, how how many things have happened over this last year that you know, one year ago we had no idea right. that those things were going to take place in the year to come. That's right. What's going to happen this next year? Right. God knows. God knows. Amen. So I don't. I don't. I don't worry about that. I try not to, anyways. I, I I've always had this this philosophy, and it's it's uh, it's worked well for me, anyway. I don't worry about things that are absolutely out of my control. If there's nothing that I can do about it, why spend time and energy and worry and fret over those things? I can't I can't change it. That's right. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna put my energy into things that are within my control. What's the number one thing that is in my control? The only thing. Me. That's right. I can't control circumstances around me. Mm -hmm. I can't control other people around me. Man, right. I wish I could sometimes. <laughs> Amen. But the only one truly that I have any control over is, is me. How do I respond? How do right. I act? What do I do? It's true. That's it. Amen. And truly, nobody else has that control. That's right. That's right. We can blame everybody else we want to and, and all of those things. You know, you're, you're responsible for you. That's, That's right. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people will do things and we have to react. They can't control how you react. Thank you. Only Lord. you can. Amen. The problem is a lot of people that don't even bother to try to control themselves on right. how they respond and how they react. Mm -hmm. But re regrets, you know, we, we all have it. The goal should be to have as few or no regrets as possible. Yep. Well, is it possible? Yes, it is. Yes, amen. If we will 100% commit ourselves unto the Lord and allow Lord. Him Help us, Lord. Help to us, Lord. lead and guide mm -hmm. the way that He sees fit, right. amen. you can live without regret. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to just take a little bit of time here. I, I don't think very, very much here, but I'm going to be in uh, 2 Timothy. If you want to go ahead and turn there. <coughs> the Apostle Paul, a good example of, of what I'm talking about here. Now understand that there was... Uh, there's a past and a history and a life that we've had before that we came to the Lord. And you know, until that day that, uh, I'm not sure how that's going to work, but our memories wiped away or just uh, uh, 
the way we think about things is going to be changed. That I know for sure. So there, there's always, in this life anyways, going to be some regret over a past. You can't change that. That's right. you, you have to come to grips with that. Your past is your past. It's, it's, it's already written. Right. Can't erase it. Right. Come on. But you have 100% control over your future. Yes. Right. Who you are, how you respond, as I've already said, our relationship with the Lord, our surrender and submission to Him, that, that, that's in our control. Right. We're going to look at the Apostle Paul here and, and see some statements that he makes and, and think, well, man, a person that had no regrets. Well, not from the point that he began serving the Lord. Right. I guarantee you that if you were to ask him, he'd say, yeah, I wish I hadn't have spent all those years mm -hmm. yeah. persecuting the church, yeah. Yeah. coming against Jesus Christ, yeah. all the things that, that I did, I can't, I can't change that. But from the point that he understood and his eyes were open, right. from that point forward, he gave it all that he had. Amen. That's, that's the difference. Amen. Here in 2 Timothy chapter 3, One of the last letters that Paul is going to write, First Timothy. he's given instruction to the young Timothy. minister, Timothy, trying to pass on some uh, wisdom from experience that he's had. And he opens up by giving some warning to Timothy of some things that he's going to, to face. And no doubt as we look at these things, we can see that this is the world that we're living in. Times have changed drastically. We talked about that a lot in Sunday school this morning as well. Chapter 3, verse 1, he says, This know also that in the last days perilous or, or dangerous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, Incontinent, that means no self-control at all. Fierce, despisers of those that are good. Yeah. Traitors, heavy, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Have I not described mm -hmm. certainly mm -hmm. 2022? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No doubt. 2023. Amen. Having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. There he's he's describing the church. That's not the world. That's right. Talking about the church there, this is a sad statement. Does this not describe the church majority world today? So true. Having a form of godliness. With their mouths, they claim a relationship with God. They claim to know God, but denying the power thereof. And there are going to be a lot of arguments of, as to what is that talking about. Well, I'm telling you this. They're denying the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. Right. That's right. They're denying the infilling of the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, Amen. yes you need to be baptized yes. in Lord. the Holy Ghost. Yes. Amen. 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 Why? Because without him, you're the church that he's describing. Having a form of God, but not the availability of the power Amen. that he brings. That's right. Amen. That's right. How does he bring that? Through the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 
For of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women, laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. They research and research and research, and they still don't know God. Uh -huh. Now as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds, reprobate concerning the faith. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was. But thou hast fully known my doctrine. Listen, th this is a claim that Paul is making to Timothy about himself. This yeah. could sound boastful. May, may think even someone could say being arrogant, but that's all in the attitude. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There's no attitude of that in this at, at all. There's a confidence, yeah. which we need to have, yeah. of the life that he lived. Yeah. 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 No regrets. Yeah. Paul is nearing the end of his time, the end of his days, and he, he knows that's coming to an end. And he's trying to, to encourage and strengthen and influence Timothy, this young man in the ministry, as much as he can. Mm -hmm. Listen, I don't know how many days you have left. I don't know how many days I have left. Right. This, uh, the first day of 2023 could be my last of 2023. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. None of us knows. Yeah. That's right. But whatever days that I have, I, I want to be determined to do the best that I can with them yeah. to influence and to teach and to pass on yeah. to the Amen. next generation. Yeah. Amen. That somebody else would be able to look yeah. to my life, to learn, not with arrogance, not with pride, but with a godly confidence that I know that I did the best that I could do. Amen. Amen. I didn't leave anything on the table, nothing undone. I put it all out there. Amen. That's right. And this is where Paul is at. Is he's, he's making this statement to Timothy. Thou hast fully known my doctrine. You, you've seen through example. You've heard the words that I've spoken to you. Mm -hmm. You've been able to watch my life, Timothy, and know that what I'm telling you has been backed up with a life that has been lived yes. wholeheartedly for God. Amen. Amen. That needs to be us. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. You've known my doctrine, my manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity or love, patience. You've seen my persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch and Iconium at Lystra. What persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. He, he's not look, saying, hey, look look Amen. what a guy I am, Timothy. Amen. Right. Look, look how strong and how good and, and, and what a Christian I am. Yes, I've gone through all these things and you've seen it. But you've also seen, and I give him all the credit, the Lord Amen. has delivered Amen. me through that. Amen. 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 How can you make the statement as I have and have confidence to say that, that God has never failed you? That's right. Listen, it's, it's pretty simple. Are you alive right now? Uh -huh. Are you here this morning? Amen. I can tell you with all confidence that God has never failed you. That's right. right. Amen. Amen. Because if that were the case, you wouldn't be here right now. Right. Right. You go and back and look through all the things in your life. And, and, and for, for many of us, we can even look at those times when, when we weren't in church, we weren't serving God. We may not even have been acknowledging God. We might have even hated God yeah. Yeah. or anything to do with God. Mm -hmm. Yet here you still are. Come on. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God has delivered you, yes. preserved you. You, giving you the strength and the health right. to be able to get out of bed this morning Amen. and be yeah. here right now. Come Amen. on. Amen. God has never failed you. Amen. Well, everything didn't go my way. Well, welcome to life. Come on. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Things aren't always going to go your way. Here's, here's, here's the part that we've got to learn. Are you willing to give up your plans, your hopes, in your dreams right. for God's purpose. Come on. That's right. Until you are, 
life's going to be miserable. Yes. Yes. Come on. That's the truth. truth right there. Come on. Yeah, bro. Come on. That's the truth. Especially for those that have heard the truth, have heard the word, have known God, have experienced the move of the Spirit. Come on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have had a relationship with Him of any kind. To not get any further than that and to yield and to, to surrender our lives unto him. Yes. Amen. You think it was pleasant for Jesus to come and live a life for the only purpose? Right. To be brutally crucified and killed and hung on a cross and ridiculed and shamed? God shamed right. the way that he was. Right. Yeah. Amen. No, but three times he had to pray that in the garden. Mm -hmm. Not my will. Yes. Right. Your will be done. Yep. Amen. Your, will be done. Yes. your plan, your purpose. I'm here for a reason to accomplish something. So are you. Amen. Yes. Amen. You exist for a purpose, for a reason. God has a plan. Amen. Well, I've got plans. I have all these things I want to accomplish. My career and my hobbies and this and that and the home and... Come on. Come on. Are you willing to give all those up for God's purpose? Right. No. Until you are, you haven't surrendered. Right. Well, I want to accomplish this in life. Is that what God wants you to accomplish in life? Mm -hmm. Come on. Is that what you were created for? Is that why you're here? Or are you still trying to take control and do things your way and get right. what you want? Come on. Amen. Come on. It's the truth. But out of them all, the Lord delivered me. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. So don't, don't think you're going to escape or there's not going to be any trouble or turmoil in your life. If you love the Lord and you're serving Him, he, He's very clear here, you're going to have it. That's fine. But in the midst of this, there's this instruction to Timothy. Continue. Thou and the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. This is the, the confidence. Again, not, not an arrogance. Right. Not prideful. But knowing that I've done everything that I could do, Timothy, to live a life before you and to show you by example yes. the right way to serve God. Yes. Yeah. So in spite of all of these hardships and trials and difficulties and the things that life's going to throw at you, in, in spite of that, hold on. Yes. Yes. Endure. Yeah. Thank you. Go ahead and go back and look at the life that I lived before you and, and let it be a lesson. Learn from it. Know that you can make it through these things, and when it's all said and done, that you're going to be who you need to be in God. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. It says that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Well, the next couple of verses, I'm not skipping them because they're not important. They are, but. Uh, I'm going to go to chapter 4, verse 1. I charge thee, therefore, before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quick and the dead and is appearing in his kingdom, preach the word. Amen. 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 Be instant, in season, Amen. out of season. Amen. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Listen, no matter what comes your way, th this is what you're here for, Timothy. This is what we're here for, church. Amen. Amen. Oh, I'm not called to be a preacher. Boy, are you wrong. That's it. We're all called to be preachers. That's right. Some yeah. do it behind the pulpit. Right. Some do it at home. Some do it at the grocery store. Right. Some do it at school. Yep. At least we should be. Right. Yep. Right. We're all called to preach. That's Amen. Right. right. To bring the word to those that don't know who God is, wherever it is that we go. Yes. Amen. Preach the word. Be instant means be be ready. 
in season, out of season, whether you feel like it, whether you don't feel like it, whether life is treating you good or life is treating you bad, or whatever's happening, you, you're here to preach the gospel. Yes. Amen. Amen. Exhort with all long suffering and doctrine, for the time will come. Listen, the the ability to do that, the time there, there's a time limit on it. Right. Mm -hmm. The freedom and ability that we have right now, it's not going to last forever. That's right. Yeah. And if you've not noticed the change that's taking place in the world yeah. around us that is slowly cutting that off, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. True. Come on. Yeah. True. it's coming to a close. That's mm -hmm. right. Paul has warned Timothy here that that, that day is coming. We're, we're in that day. That's yeah. right. Amen. The time will come. It's, it's happening now. Yeah. When they will not endure, they won't accept sound doctrine. What is that? The truth of God's word. Yeah, that's right. mm -hmm. Timothy, there's going to come a time that they're not going to want to hear God's word. Right. Hello. Yep, man. Yep. Come on. Amen, brother. Timothy, there's going to come a day when they're not going to endure what the truth is. Right. That's right. Well, what day are we living in? That's right. Right. Yeah. It's already started. Timothy, there's coming a day that, that, that what's right, they're going to call it evil, and the things that are evil, they're going to call that good. Oh, yeah. It's going to happen one of these days, Timothy. Come on. Yep. Yep. Here it is. That's right. They will not endure sound doctrine, but in, instead of receiving the truth and sound doctrine, here's what they're going to do. After their own lusts, their own desires. Mm -hmm. Shall they heap to themselves teachers? Boy, well, everybody's got a better way, don't they? That's right, yeah. yeah. Well, I have this new revelation, or I, I've learned this new thing in God's Word. Yeah, the, yeah, this, this has been around for a couple thousand years, and nobody has ever seen this before but me. I've unlocked the mystery. Sit down, Bozo. <laughs> After their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. We were talking about this in Sunday school this morning. I agree with you, Brother Kenny. I think the world has gone too far. There's no turning back. It is. That doesn't mean to do everything you can to preach to the world and to try to reach them, because there may be somebody that is on the on the edge and on the border yes. trying to make a decision yep. right. uh, that hasn't completely gone overboard yet that right. you might be able to reach. Yeah. But all in all, as the world goes, there's there's no turning back at this point. Come on. It's, it's not going to come back. Nope. But here's the problem. This instruction, this warning that he's giving to Timothy, this is to the church. Yeah. He's not telling this concerning the world that they're going to get to a place that they're not going to endure sound doctrine. Right. They've been there for a long, long time. Yeah. Yeah. But the church. Yeah. One of these days, Timothy, the church is going to get to the place that they won't hear the truth. Right. Yeah, it's it's true. They won't accept the truth. They won't mm -hmm. want to listen to it. Sorry. But for their own benefit, for their own lust, for their own desires, they're going to put themselves in positions and as leaders and preachers and teachers and Come on. Yeah. having itching ears. And they're going to believe fables. I, I couldn't even begin to tell you some of the nonsense that yeah. is being preached from pulpits yeah. right now. Right. Yeah. It's true. This very minute. It's true. In churches all across this world. Yep. Across this country. Yeah. Right. Across this town. Right. 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 Yeah. It's true. It's true. The areas that, that we're living in. Yeah. Nonsense. Yeah. Fables. Yep. Stories, things that people have concocted in their own minds. Mm -hmm. God's word has nothing to do with it. Come on. Well, I believe this and I want this. 
us, Lord. One of these days, Timothy, this, this is going to be the church. The time will come. They will not endure or accept sound doctrine, right. teaching. But after their own lust, they shall heap to themselves, teacher. I couldn't tell you the times I had people come up to, to me. They, they find out that you're a, a, a minister or whatever. I don't go around announcing to people that I'm a pastor. I just, if they find out, they find out. It's, I, I shouldn't have to tell people. I, I, I've, I've, never, I've never been that kind of person. I don't need the pat on the back or the title or, or that, that really, you have no idea, means nothing to me. Nothing to me. And when people start to come up to me and tell me their positions and their titles and uh, all of their Bible schooling and how much they know, I immediately know how much that they don't know. Right. Right. Amen. And then as they begin to, 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 to try to prove it through uh, uh, their, their Bible knowledge, you quickly understand they ain't got a clue. Right. Mm -hmm. Keeping to themselves, teachers. Mm -hmm. Seeking these things out of their own lusts. Right. Their own desires <clears throat> for their own purpose. Not God's purpose. Right, exactly. Yes, we need to do is he's instructing Timothy, preach the gospel. Not, not because of how it, it may make you feel for someone to recognize that you're a teacher or a preacher, but because it's what we need to do in order to reach the world. Amen. Yes. Amen. They shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables, <clears throat> fiction, lies, nonsense. But watch thou in all things. All of this is going to be taking place, not just in the world. The world has already past this, but this is going to be happening mm -hmm. in the True. church, Timothy. Yeah. This is going to be happening in the church, Christian of today, yeah. heading into a new year. Yeah. But even though this is happening all around us, in the world around us, and, and in the church world around us, but you, watch yourself. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Guard yourself. Yes. Amen. Don't allow this to overtake you. Don't get caught up in it. Yes, amen. Listen, there is no new way to serve God. That's right. Uh -huh. amen. Amen. There is no new way that, that is, is pleasing unto God. There is no new way that is now all of a sudden acceptable unto God when it's not been acceptable for years. That's right. Amen. There's no new lifestyle that is now okay in God's eyes that has never been acceptable. In fact, he's called it an abomination and sin in time gone by. God's the same yesterday, today, forevermore. He's a holy God without which holiness no man shall see him. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, even when the church world turns on you. That's right. Yes. Amen. That's right. Oh, you're, you're crazy. You're fanatical. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Oh, old style. You're out of date. Mm -hmm. Come on. It's true. Uh, what's the or what's, what, what's the best one they come up with? Uh, you're in bondage. Yeah, you're in bondage. Uh, no, the other one, under the law. Legalism. Legalism. There we go. <laughs> Couldn't even think of it. You're legalistic. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I adhere to God's word. Right. Uh huh. Because I obey what He tells me to do. Right. Right. Endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist. Make full. Proof of thy ministry. Here's the place that we need to get to. This is, our, this is our goal. Paul's making this last statement to Timothy. For I am now ready to be offered. My time is up, Timothy. Yep. Whatever I've been placed here to do, it's over. I am now ready to be offered. It's time for me to die, is what he's saying. Amen. And the time of my departure is at hand. Yes. But listen to this. I have fought a good fight. <laughs> yeah, I've been through some difficulties, some tough times. The world tried to kill me. Satan tried to take me out. 
I didn't always do things right. I didn't know God my whole life. But from the time that I did, I gave it everything that I had. Amen. Amen. I fought a good fight. I gave it everything that yes. I had. Amen. Yes. Once I knew what was right and what was the truth, come on. Right. You, you, you know. Right. That's right. We're without excuse. Mm -hmm. Once I knew the right way, I held nothing back. I gave it all to God. I put it all down for Him. Amen. Amen. I fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. He's stating to Timothy, my course, my fight is coming to an end. Amen. Yours is just getting started. Right. I fought my fight. I finished my course. Now it's time for you to fight your fight. Right. It's time for you to stay your course, That's right. to live your life that God has given to you to live for him. Amen. Amen. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, meaning because of this, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. Not just because I started the race or I did a little bit, but I gave it all that I had. I did it yes. and endured till the end. Yeah. I never Amen. wavered. Amen. I gave him everything that I knew to give him once I understood and knew what the truth was. Yeah. And because of that, Thank you, Lord. now I've got a reward waiting for me. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Henceforth, because of this, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Yes. It isn't just for Paul. That's right. Everyone that will accept that responsibility and that call in their life and dedicate themselves to serving God and live life for God. I'm talking. Live life for God. See, this is the only thing that matters with no regrets. Amen. I'm not talking about living life for your desires and your plans. Oh, I have no regrets. I went after everything that I wanted. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about living your life for God <clears throat> with no regrets. There you go. How many of us can say that right? That's oh, right. Yeah. That's right. I can't. But you know what? I can't do nothing about yesterday. Yep. Right. That's true. You you can dwell on that from now till Jesus comes. Well, uh -huh. shoulda, woulda, coulda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't change that one bit. Mm -hmm. But I am in full control. From this moment forward. Right. And so are you. Amen. Yeah. Don't like the direction that life has been going in? Change it. Yeah. Right. Amen. Amen. Amen, brother. Don't like how things have been going? Do something about it. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. If you've been here for any time, I, 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 and I'm not saying this with any kind of pride or arrogance at all. Just I, I know I've done the best that I can. If you've been here any time at all, you've heard truth. I, I've, I've done my, my best Amen. with everything within me to, to hold to what I believe to be the Word of God and its truth and its entirety, holding nothing back. So if you've been here, you've heard that Amen. As, as much as has been possible within me. Not because I'm anything, but because that's been my desire for God to do that. Amen. Having heard and to know the truth, you're accountable. You're responsible. Yeah. Not for the past. The enemy will try to lock you up there and hold you there right. till the day you die. Amen. But you have the ability, full decision making on what happens from this moment forward. Amen. Right. Stand with me.
What a statement that Paul was able to make concerning his life in the Lord. I have no regrets. You think Paul wanted to be shipwrecked? You think Paul wanted to be beaten the times he was beaten? Stoned, left for dead? But that felt good. <laughs> Years in prison? Yep. All because he served God. Amen. Amen. And as he comes to the close of his life, he says to us, I gave it everything I had. Hallelujah. Yeah. I fought well. I'm, I'm getting ready to leave this life. And concerning my walk with the Lord, I have no regrets. Mm. Boy, I want that to be me. Yeah. Do you want that to be you? Mm -hmm. I hope you do because that's the only thing that counts. You, you can accomplish every fleshly goal of life that you could set before you, you know, it still gets you nowhere. Yeah. Every earthly goal that, that you have and every desire that you, you can accomplish them all. And when it's all said and done, you ain't taking that with you. Yeah. It gets you nowhere. The only thing that's going to last, I, my mom used to recite this to me all the time, one life to live soon to pass. That's right. Only what's done for Christ will last. Amen. I can remember as a little kid her telling me that. Boy, how much I understand that now. Yes. All of those things that I wanted in life, and I got some of them, where are they now? Yeah. What have they done for me? Yeah. Some of them brought, I brought my own heartache and misery. Uh -huh. Come on. But to give it to the Lord. You know, what an opportunity that we have. Thank you can you look Lord. at it and say, oh, I'm afraid of what this next year holds. But I, I choose not to have that, that thought process. I choose to have this one. Wow, what a blank slate. <laughs> wow, what a new beginning. Whatever failures that I had last year, they're behind me. That's right. Amen. I can do something about them this next year. I can go into this next year with the attitude and, and the desire yeah. that I'm going to give it all that I've got. I'm going to ask everyone, as we always do, and we have an altar call to come and to, to get before the Lord individually. Thank you, Lord. Just as we talked in Sunday school, it all begins in the home. Well, Thank you, Jesus. it all starts with the individuals. Thank you, Lord. After we do that, I want us to come together as a church. I'm going to ask you to pray for me for this new year. I, 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 I want a fresh vision, a fresh outlook for God to, to lead me and to show me how to lead this church into this next year. He's got, he's got a, a, a goal for us. But before that can happen, each of us individually has to get to that place that we're, we're dedicated. We're giving God everything that we have. And when we'll do that individually, just as it was in the home, We'll come together as a church. That's how things will get accomplished. Will you come individually first? Get before the Lord. Dedicate this next year fresh and new to Him. Determine in your heart and your mind. Give Him all you got. Here's my heart. I give to you, fill it completely, Lord, with what you want me to do, take control and fill my soul so that all may see. Here's my heart, I give. 
to you Fill it completely, Lord With what you want me to do Take control And fill my soul So that all may see That I can be like you Thank you. 
here for a second. Just Thank you, Lord. Real quick. Uh, this evening service, we are going to have an old-fashioned foot washer. Oh, boy, that sounds good. If you don't know what that is, you go and read in John chapter 13, and you'll learn and understand. People say, well, why do you announce that in half the church or more than church? They, 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 won't, they won't come back. And I don't mean this in a mean way at all. Or, but if you don't want to participate, I just assume you didn't. It's all about heart. Amen. Amen. What's, what's, what's the number one root of sin? Pride. Pride. Uh -huh. You trace it all the way back to Satan getting kicked out of heaven. It all began right. with pride. Right. And it's, at the, it's at the root, whatever way it manifests itself, it's at the root of all sin. Amen. Pride. What's the opposite of pride? Humility. Amen. Amen. That's what it's all about. Thank you, Jesus. That's what it's all about. And uh, God knows how to humble us. Amen. Amen. So rather than have God do it, I'm going to yield and allow that to take place Amen. In, Amen. in my own life. Amen. And that, that's what this is all about. And I'll tell you what, it's been some, some powerful services. Yes, Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. come together and they, and they truly, as a church, Amen. humble themselves before God. Thank you, Lord. That's a heart. Amen. The same Amen. Place for God to work with. Thank you, Lord. If there's pride in there, that's a, he, he won't work with that. That's right. In fact, Amen. he says, I'm against you. Yeah. But when we come to him with a humble heart, yes. that's when he accepts us. Thank you, Lord. Us. So uh, if you want to be here tonight, that's what we're doing. Just letting you know. So it's up, it's, it's up to you, but I guarantee you. There's a blessing in it. Yes. Amen, amen. Any other announcements, anything going on? I just remember Donna and her family. Yes. Um, as far as I know, they're not having any kind of service or anything. It was his request, so it's going to be pre made on. And um, that's right sad. now, it's just that, right? That's sad. He says, look what he wanted. So, yeah. um, so nothing, but just send her a text, whatever, if you can check on her after she needed food. She said, nothing. So just check in on her, pray for them. You know, she's got a lot of family there. I know it's a very, very hard time for them. So just, just be praying for them. Anything else? A good way to start off the new year, being in the Lord's house and among the brethren. Amen, amen. Amen. Let's uh, pray together. Just thank you, Lord. Lord, we just thank you for this time to have been in your house, to gather together. Lord, we just ask that something from your word would be lodged in our hearts. Help us to commit everything that we have to you, God, to allow you to be God in our lives the way that you desire, holding nothing back, Lord, but giving it all to you, that this year would be different from any year in the past. Lord, that you would be there among us, using us, guiding us, blessing us, Lord, keeping your hand upon us. Watch over us, protect us, bring us back tonight, Lord, ready to serve and honor you in all that we do. In Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Amen.